Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Python interview questions. That is, what is lambda function in Python? Let me answer. Lambda function is a function in the Python without any name, okay? A function in Python which doesn't contain any name is nothing but a lambda function. A function in Python without any name is a lambda function in simple words, okay? So let me describe more about this lambda function. First of all, it won't contain any name. That's the first point. Second point is that, okay, we can, we can specify any number of parameters. Okay, like normal functions, we can specify any number of parameter space, zero parameters, one parameter, two parameters, and so on. Depending on the number of parameters while calling this function, we have to pass that, that many number of arguments. Okay, so in this lambda function, which doesn't contain any name, we can pass any number of parameters. Second point or third point we can simply say is that it should contain only one expression, but only one expression you cannot have more than one expressions okay it should contain only one expression guys okay only one expression should be there in this uh, lambda function the result of this expression will be or can be assigned to a variable okay result of the abo or one expression result of expression can be assigned to one variable okay can be assigned to a variable otherwise can be assigned to a variable you can say okay so these are few things about the lambda function guys so what is advantage i'll cover later let me practically demonstrate this function for you so that all these points will be clear okay so i'll switch to this pycharm id here i'll write down some code that is i'll create a lambda function guys okay i'm going to create a lambda function so uh, I'll create something like this. Okay. I'll have to use a keyword known as lambda guys. Okay. Not to create this lambda function. I have to use a keyword known as lambda and followed by this keyword. We have to give parameters guys. Okay. You see the lambda function will not contain any name. There's a keyword lambda will be there, but uh, like unlike uh, general functions where you provide the name for the functions right here, you are not going to specify any name for this function. Just keyword lambda you'll use followed by the keyword you have to use. You have to specify the number of parameters. You can give zero parameters, one parameter, two parameters, and so on. I'll give two parameters, for example. Let's say A comma B are two parameters here, guys. Okay. A comma B are two parameters, followed by this number of parameters, put colon symbol. And followed by this colon symbol in the same line, you have to give one expression. It can only contain lambda function, will only contain one expression. So I'll write an expression like this A plus B. Where we are going to store the result of this expression, that is a plus b, we'll assign this lambda function. The result of this condition expression of this lambda function will assign to a variable. Let's say c is equal to like this. We have to say, okay. Now, how to call this? You see, in a single line, I'm able to create a function. You see, a function is taking just a single line, guys. Okay, a short, concised, short function. Okay, there may be some situations where uh, you have to create very small, basic functions, right? Then lambda function is very good for that. You see, it's taking only single line. You don't have to write good number of lines for creating a function. Okay. So since it doesn't have any name, how to call this function then? How to call this function, guys? As it is not having any name, how to call this function? In order to call this function, I have to use this variable name, guys. Okay. Since there is no name for this function, the result of this uh, expression of this uh, lambda function is stored in this uh, variable C. That same variable we have to use, guys. I'll say C of, like you're calling a function, instead of the function name, you are giving the variable name. In circular brackets, you pass the arguments. Here, two parameters are there. You pass two arguments here, 5, comma 4. Okay? Now, C of 5, comma 4. Let's print this out. Okay? Print of C of 5, 4. Like this. Okay? In a single line, I created a function which doesn't contain any name. We are using the land, lambda keyword here. There are there can be any number of parameters. I gave two parameters, so I have to pass two arguments here while calling the function. The only one expression is there. The result of this expression will be stored in the variable. And we have to call the function since it doesn't contain any name. We have to call this function with the help of this variable name. Okay. C of I4 like that. Run this code. Let's see whether we got the result or not. You see the result 9 got printed, guys. 5 went to A, 4 went to B. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 will be stored into C. When I say C of I4, the result 9 got written and that we have printed with the help of print statement. Okay. So this is a very simple and basic example for a lambda function in Python. Guys, let's repeat here. 
a function in Python without any name. You see, this function doesn't have any name, guys. Okay. Uh, here in this lambda function, there is a keyword used. That is lambda keyword. Okay. We have to use a keyword lambda keyword, a predefined keyword in Python. Okay. Need to be used. Needs to be used. If I have to explain more, uh, colon symbol is used to separate parameters from the expression, right? Col uh, colon symbol is used in lambda function to separate separate parameters from expression. Only one expression is there, and expression and parameters are separated by colon symbol here. This side parameter, this side expression, okay? And uh, keyword lambda is there. And apart from that, it doesn't have any name. Is lambda function doesn't have any name. We can specify any number of parameters. We can specify any number of parameters here. Only one expression. Here, only one expression is there. We cannot have more than one expression. The result of the expression can be assigned to a variable, guys. You can assign the result of this expression to a variable, OK? Or you can pass this lambda function result to another function also, OK? That is also possible, guys. I don't want to make this uh, more depth. This much is enough, OK? Lambda keyword need to be used. And these, these are the explanations, guys, OK? But why? Why we have to use lambda functions? Okay, let me cover that. Okay, now you know what is a lambda function and how to uh, create that lambda function practically and how to use it practically. Everything you know, but what is the advantage or purpose of using the lambda functions in Python? The simple advantage is, as you can simply see, it is very concise and short. Right? You don't need this many lines of code. You don't have to write this many lines of code to create this kind of simple function. Okay. Unnecessarily, you don't have to create the general function, which will take a lot of lines. First of all, lambda function is short functions, guys. Okay, for creating the short functions and concise functions, okay, in a, which generally take only one line or something, right? We go for lambda nameless function, okay, which takes less space. Short functions, concise functions, which take less space is one advantage of the lambda functions. And whenever in your application, uh, in your code, wait, whatever the programming code you are writing or project you are working on, in that this function is not used much times. Okay, you need this function only one or two times, max one or two times. In that case, why to waste a lot of space here and there? In those one or two spaces where you need this function, write this lambda function, which will only take one one line or can be part of another statement, another existing statement only. You don't need a separate line also. Okay. So as part of your code in a single line, you can mention this Lambda function, things are done. Why to create a separate function? So whenever there is a need of creating a short function or concise function, which takes less space, and whenever you need a function that generally is a short function, you need that need not be called uh, more than two times, okay? That you use in the programs only max one or two times. In such cases, Lambda function is preferred, guys, okay? Lambda function will save your space and, you know, it will, if not, if the function is not called many times, only one or two times, you can go with the Lambda function. So hope guys, you understood what exactly is a Lambda function in Python, how to create one, what are the thing, uh, what are the different things in Lambda function, which I have explained in detail along with the practical demonstration in this session. If you can explain all this stuff in the interviews, okay, when you come across this kind of question in the interviews, okay, that will be whatever explanation I have given will be more than enough guys. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session where I'm going to answer another Python interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.